Hi guys, Hi guys and girls, this, this is Raj, Raj Veer. Welcome, Welcome to my channel, channel Learn DLC in Hindi. Hindi. And this is a short video to talk about three things to kickstart your training in automation. So I will quickly walk through three things which I think is good enough and it's an open source videos, open source, also the software which you, which you can use to start your automation training. Because I received so many requests that people are asking about free simulators. So if you remember, I have made 35 videos on uh, Learn PLC in Hindi, I have explained about ISP soft software. That was the first thing I want to mention here again. And I have two more things to explain about. So let's see what are the three things we have here. So we'll start with the first one. And you know PLC software, ISP soft. Now this software is having a free lifetime validity. You can download it from the Delta Electronics. If you haven't used it yet, I have links in the description of this video. You can check that. And if you want to study this software, we have uh, so many videos in this channel. You can check that one. And just for the reference, I'm going to show you how does it work for the people who are seeing it for the first time. So this is a PLC ladder logic uh, example here. We have an input X0 and timer of five seconds, and that's a timer bit and the outputs. So you can build the logic here and you can simulate it. Exactly. So I'm going to show you how does it work with simulation. So I have turned on the simulation and I have to initialize my driver somewhere here. So it's started and yeah, it's okay. I will just quickly maybe reset it again because this software works with another software, Communication Manager, and you have to make sure your Communication Manager is running and then you have to check your simulator is running. Okay, so simulator is running. I will quickly cross check my driver, so everything looks okay. So I will go online, and it will imagine, it will assume that the PLC is connected. Okay, so you have an input X0, and now many of you put me a comment in the videos that when you turn on the X0, you receive this error, <laughs> right? If you remember this error, if you remember your comment, if you are one of those, how to check this error. Now, if you know X0 is my input and it's a hardware input, I cannot trigger it on with the software unless I have special request on. So in the software, you have to go to this icon which says set MPUX on off, which means you are forcefully turning on off the inputs. So click this one, it says enable, press OK, and then you click on set on, and you will see the timer. Now the timer is not running because the PLC is stopped, so I will run it. Now the timer is running, and after five seconds, it will turn on the output, and my output will be on. So this is just a small example. If you want to see more of such example, you can watch the lessons, which are in the, in the YouTube channel, okay? So I will just set it off and set on again. So this was the first thing I want to introduce you for those who doesn't know about this software yet, but you can download it for free. The links are in the description and you can use it, make some exercise, you can practice your PLC logic, you don't have to pay for it, all right? And if you wanna practice some logics, there are beautiful explanations in the, in the YouTube channel, all right? So this was the first thing I want to introduce to you. Let's see what we have in the second thing. Codices. Now, many of you might know this software already, but I just came across their free simulation for PLC and HMI. If you see this example, they have an HMI screen and they have a PLC logic somewhere which you can link together and you can control it. So you don't need to buy a hardware. It's just the two softwares, PLC and HMI, which is built inside the codices and you can quickly work it together, okay? And so, yeah, let me show you one example of that as well. As well. It's Oh, oh, not here. So my bad. Here. So this is my codices. And if you notice, this is a small letter logic with one input and one output. And this is the HMI screen. It says visual visualization. Now this is my switch and that's my output. So my switch is linked to my input bit. My output is linked to my output coil here. So this is an indicator. So if I turn on my input, this bit goes on, the logic is solved, and output is on. So it's quite simple. You just have to make a switch, link it with your input, make a logic, and link your output with some indicator. So I just made a simple logic because I just want to introduce this platform. So Codices is also free. And I hope if you are good enough with PLC programming, you will find a way to work with Codices because here you just have to uh, initialize some variables here, and then you make a letter logic, and then you make HMI, and you link it together. If it's too difficult for you to start up, 
uh, for sure I'm making some videos and codices as well and I will upload in the same channel and you can relate the videos with codices with what you are going to do with the software okay and again this is also free if you want the links check the description below and you will find it and you can download it and you can run it for as long as you want okay so this was the second platform now the third platform is very interesting i will just close this one also i would like to close this one this is my delta and let's see the last one now the third one is the very recently i had a training for my robotics and i get across a software which is called robotic arm simulation and the software is by universal robot so there's a robot i was working with and they have a simulation software and i quickly thought wow this could be good enough for my students so in this software you can learn how to program a robot now robotics is quite complicated if you're not with a mechanical or electronic background but i suppose that if you are good enough with basic programming you can also program a robot i will show you a small example so for robot i'm using a virtual machine and again it's also free you can download and you can run it so i'll just show you a simple program so i'm going to go go to program robot and uh, this is a simulation i don't have a real robot right here so i will go to empty program now i will just make a simple program to move the robotic arm up and down okay that's it i just want to show you how does it work so i'll go to uh, the robot program structure and i'll use the move command and i'll go to my wave point waypoint in the command set waypoint so that's my robot and i will make it bigger so i want to set its waypoint so i will just make it above take it above and if you notice, you have some coordinates which are being changed automatically because I'm manually moving it up. And you can see the drive, feed drive here as well. So I just go here and click OK. So that's my first waypoint. Wave point. Then I click here, add waypoint after. In the second waypoint, I will bring it down. OK. So I will select my second point where robot has to come. So what we do is we just define the points and then we run the point in loop that's what i do so if i go here move j and play and i have to just bring it to the main position initially now i click ok and then i click run and if you see the graphics you can see the two waypoints which i have defined and it will run up and down automatically that's also happened in the real robot i was working with you just have to define the waypoints cleverly and then it will run accordingly okay so if i could get time i will also make some videos on robotics but that will take some time because first i will make work on other projects and I hopefully i will work on this as well because i find it very interesting you can watch the robot from any angle and you can define the points and you can move to different points and you can also add some grippers but i don't think gripper is possible in simulation but possible in the real robotic applications so there are many commands here move waypoint wait set pop up which you can work on all right if you want you can also download its manual and do some do some self-learning to learn how to you know work on a robot and if you are good in this robotic simulation software you can of course work on kuka robots and other you know abb robots as well because the basic fundamental is clear you define the waypoints you define the joints and then you move from one location to another okay then you can also define the safe zones some security uh, security protocols and then further which you can't do here is how to send a command from plc to robot and that for that you can't do in simulation okay so these were the three things I want to introduce you. So I hope you like it because these are the three open source simulation for the students who, <laughs> who don't like to go to university like me and who don't like to sit in the professor lectures who want to do themselves, self-learning, you can do from there, okay? So hopefully more videos are coming soon and I want to also show you that my more videos are coming on this PLC. This is a Delta 12 SE PLC which has an ethernet port and some inputs and outputs here and it also has some usb port so i'll be making more videos on this because this is a sponsored product by delta electronics they have given me this plc to work on and make some uh, projects or some videos so i'll be making more videos with this plc yeah, and apart from that i have some uh, siemens hmi i recently made videos on siemens alarm which is in my course siemens s7 and i have one controller here it's s7 1200 if you can see yeah this one so I'll be probably making a video with Siemens S7 and encoder. So these are my upcoming uh, videos. 
And I also plan to make a course in Arduino and LabVIEW. For that, I'm using an Arduino kit. This is an Arduino Mega 256, 2560. So a lot to do in a short span of time. So I, I want to apologize as well for the today's session. I was trying to come live, but somehow I could not able to. My Wi-Fi has some security issues. I hope I would fix it soon and very soon enough we'll have live one-on-one -on -one conversation. You can talk about yourself, your projects and any queries if you have or if you want to work with me, if you want you know, to involve yourself with my projects, you can also work together if you have a passion behind automation, you know. So yeah, I hope we do live session soon. So I just want to say thank you for joining and you can subscribe in this channel to have more videos, more content and more new things to learn. All right. So have a nice time and uh, stay crazy. Stay crazy with automation. Keep programming and have fun. Bye.